As many of you know, ticking noises in the GM 5.3 seems to be a very common issue. The 4.8, and 6 liter, 6.2. Uh, 5.3 more prominent probably because it's the most popular motor. So what do I have now? Got a Silverado with a ticking noise. He says he has to let it sit in order to hear it. So he drove it in here. So I have it sitting now and it's cooling off because he says once it gets cool, you'll hear it. He goes and then after a few minutes, it goes away. He says he changes his oil regularly and uses the correct oil, Dexos 020, but he still seems to have this issue. He doesn't know why. He says he's looked at it himself. He says he does most of his own work, but he just can't figure it out. So what could it be? Sits, gets cold, or cools off, and it happens on a, when he first starts it. Then it goes away. So what's changing? What's changing is temperature. So it could be a couple of things. Could it be lifters? Absolutely. Now, the lifters themselves create the problem. It's not the lifters themselves making the noise. The noise that you actually hear when these things tick is excessive valve lash uh, because the lifters go bad or it wiped out a camshaft, which is possible. And then it starts tapping. You actually hear excessive clearance between the rocker arm and a valve or the push rod and a rocker arm. Usually it's the other way around. Usually it's rocker arm and valve. <clears throat> but normally those type of ticks don't just go away. A faulty lifter, whereas the hydraulic portion inside is not staying pumped up, usually that can do that, where when it's cold, it'll create that problem. What's another thing that can create that problem? Exhaust leaks. A lot of times exhaust leaks will straighten themselves out. So I'm just waiting for this to cool off, and once it gets cold enough, then I'm going to have somebody start it, or I might start it myself. And then I'm going to check it for exhaust leaks. I got a funny feeling that's what my problem is going to be. As you saw in my other video with the tapping noise in that 5.3, that turned out to be an ignition coil, whereas the wire had actually popped out. Why it did, I have no idea. The customer didn't know either. It just happened. So I got a funny feeling when it was assembled from the factory, that thing was never installed correctly. Now, that video was over a year ago, and I still see that customer still driving it. Has not never had an issue again. That problem never cropped back up. This is the same design motor. I did take a look just to see. I don't see anything. So, let's let it cool off and we're gonna find out what happens. All right, so I'm going out to that Silverado. It's been sitting for about three or three and a half hours. And I got my little trusty step stool with me. So that thing sits a little bit on the high side. So I'm gonna start it up and hopefully it's gonna make the noise. Let me get my little step stool in position here. Make sure I get a good vantage point here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I got a pretty good vantage point. All right, so let's see what she does. First thing I'm going to do is put the key on and roll the window down. So I like to be prepared. If I can even reach in and do what I want it to do. No, I can't. Dang it. I think it's up too high. My arms aren't that long. That sounds like it's the other side. And that sounds like an explosive. It's an exhaust leak, that noise. See all the carbon there? That back bolt is broken. Let's 
try to get down in here. So that's a relatively common issue. The problem is the bolts snap off in the head. Um, and I, I believe what's happening is the expansion contraction of the exhaust manifold is creating that problem. And that's why they break. Let's shut that off. So there we go. Another ticking 5.3. That's not the camshaft. So just kind of weird. I mean, I had that one video where the ticking was the coil, and, um, and then this one, and then I did have one with a bad cam, and unfortunately, I never made a video of it. That's when I first started the channel, and I just made it like a short, and you can see in the short, you can see the one rock arm not moving because it had a bad lifter. Uh, but anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna call a customer, give him the good news actually, because that's not that's not terrible news, but. It's still it's going to get kind of involved and if he decides he wants us to fix it that's great then uh, i'll make a video of that and show you what's involved in fixing that so that's it for now i hope you got something out of that video if you do hit that like button if you could please subscribe tell your friends to subscribe also all right that's it have a great day keep wrenching